क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2016 मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेपर सेट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी अ ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम रेस्ट ऑन एन इंक्लाइन प्लेन एंड इज अटैच बाय अ स्ट्रिंग टू द वॉल एज शोन इन द फिगर द कोफिशियंट ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द प्लेन एंड द ब्लॉक इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव द स्ट्रिंग कैन विथस्टैंड अ मैक्सिमम फोर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी न्यूटन द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ मास एम फॉर विच the string will not break and the block will be in static equilibrium is dash kg the forces that are acting on the block are marked here one of it is tension in the spring let that be t another one is weight of this block now as mu that is coefficient of static friction is given to be 0.25 there is a friction force also acting on this block now as we can see that because of its weight and as the surface is inclined the mass slides down and reaches a position where all the forces are balanced and it is in static equilibrium so if it is sliding down the motion is downwards we see friction is acting upwards again in the direction of the tension in the spring and what the friction value will be it will be a fraction of the normal force so the force that surface is applying to this mass in a normal direction is the normal force n and its fraction with a factor of coefficient of friction that is mu s into n is going to be the friction force acting on the surface of the block now angle between the weight and normal reaction is theta because this horizontal line is perpendicular to the weight and the surface is perpendicular to the normal reaction that is why the angle between these two surfaces will be equal to the angle between these two forces by static equilibrium we can write summation fy equal to 0 let's start with the known ones the known forces that is the weight hence we see that if we take a local axis along the surface as x direction and perpendicular to the surface as y direction for this particular case summation of fy equal to 0 will be written as mg weight and its component along y axis that is mg cos theta this force is downwards so let's take it negative plus n is already in the direction of y axis hence we can write total force n is equal to 0 from here we have the value of n which is mg cos theta let's simplify the whole thing and then at the end we will substitute the values to calculate the final answer so now using the second equation of static equilibrium that is summation of forces along x direction is equal to 0 we have in positive x we have force t plus another force friction force mu s n and in the negative x direction there is a component of weight in the y direction we had mg cos theta similarly in the x direction we will have the component mg sin theta hence we can write minus mg sin theta is equal to 0 now t is the known value it is given as 20 newton n we found it from here mu s is given sin theta cos theta everything is given the unknown value is m so let's keep the terms containing m on left hand side we have mu s into mg cos theta minus mg sin theta is equal to minus 20 let's proceed in solving this we have mg taken common from both the terms and putting the values mg into 2.5 into cos theta is given to be 0.8 minus sin theta is given to be 0.6 is equal to minus 20 so we have mg equal to minus 20 upon this brackets amount to minus 0.4 hence it is equal to 50 finally we get value of m is equal to 50 divided by g which is 50 upon 10 5 kg let's fill in the answer maximum value of mass m for which string will not break 
and block will be in static equilibrium. String doesn't break and that is why we have taken spring force T acting on the mass. So when the spring doesn't break, maximum mass that it can hold without breaking is 5 kg. To learn more about friction, you can refer to the NPTEL video, Lecture 18, Friction 1, Engineering Mechanics by Professor K. Ramesh. He is from Department of Applied Mechanics, IIT Madras. I hope this solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.